adjustment section is the most used uh, section in the editor when you're editing pictures in Photoshop X Pro. Now I'm going to I'm going to insert some pictures here. For example, I'll just insert uh, this picture here. There. Now make sure you're in the editor. Then you just come. Remember we have the sections. We have the upper section. We have the adjustments, effects, and transformations. Now let's look at the adjustments. We're going to look at all these tools in the adjustment. Let's start with the first one, which is auto color. If I click auto color, this is what happens. You can either apply or you can even mask a section where you want the colors to apply. Maybe I just want it to be on the face here, not anywhere else. So that's what will happen. If you want to compare how it was before and how it was, it is now, you just do like this. This is how it looks. I think it has enhanced the brightness. Let me just cancel. Then we have the auto levels here. You can play around with the slider here. Play around with the slider. Also, if you want to uh, just... Uh, Check a section, you can just uh, come to the mask, mask a section that you want. If you compare how it was and there's mi mi negligence, uh, there's uh, minimal changes as you can see there. Then we have uh, the auto contrast. If you want that, you can also use that. I'll just cancel that. Then you have this one here. As you can see, it makes it look uh, as, as if it is a paint. So you can adjust it like that. And adjust it like that yeah i think i like this i think i like this uh i think i like this i'll just apply it if you are satisfied with it you just apply now the next one is what uh blah maybe you want to blur or you want to sharpen if you want to sharpen it creates more sharper image for example this one here let me increase the amount you can play around with all this play around with all this and then if you are satisfied you can just apply just uh like that then you can you can also blur you can decide to blur a section but uh, i always like using this i uh, just mark mark uh mask the section i want to blur maybe i want to blur the background just like that you can easily do that uh, just like this so that the background is blurred or some parts of the hair like this and some part so that it appears as if okay let's see how it will be yeah you can easily blur like that but i'll just if you compare this is how it will be i'll just cancel uh that one there then you can add noise noise as something like grains in a picture as you can see maybe look at that team look at vintage uh picture i'll just cancel that then uh we have film grain you can see what it happens scale how much then we have uh, reduce noise. Can you reduce noise if it's dirty? That one is not in this picture. Then soften skin. Let me put another image. Uh, no, I don't want to save it. Let me just put another image. Maybe this time this one here. Now, uh, maybe you want to soften the skin. You want to soften, make it uh, a little bit. Uh, maybe let me just zoom. You want to make it, maybe it has some little bit wrinkles. If you compare look you see it has softened it makes it more look more smoother but you can't uh, just don't make it don't overdo it uh -huh. if i compare or i cancel you can even do it in a section maybe soften skin maybe i just want to soften this area that, that has this max here As you can see they are just cancel there then uh, next one is bouquet you want uh bouquet maybe you don't want it so much you can even use uh section let me zoom out control minus uh, bouquet blah maybe you just don't want you just want to blah maybe uh, the surrounding just like that yeah i'll cancel that then we have um, these as you can see make it a little bit darker see you also can increase the slides amount you can play around with all that then we have uh, shadow highlights especially if you want to reduce blackness increase blackness you want to increase blackness reduce whites maybe there's too much white too, too bright you can uh, play around with all this I'll just cancel that as you can see there then we have uh-huh point color maybe you want 
uh, this color only to be there maybe red you only want red to be there so you can play around realize <laughs> the other parts are black and white or only red is visible so you can also use this one here maybe cancel uh -huh, where is it color maybe i just want to choose this color i can use the eyedropper I just choose this red now you realize red is the only color especially if you want to uh, bring or emphasize a color in a picture i'll just cancel that then the next thing is what uh -huh, replace color maybe you want to replace red i'll just still use eyedropper you can I'll just click this one here maybe you want to replace it with the yellow okay i'll choose this one here maybe we'll play around which color you want to replace i uh, see you can easily replace the color of uh, this one works if the color is uh, well balanced in the you can play around with all this maybe you want it purple very nice if you want to change the color of an object uh let's say i want to change the uh, maybe i want to use this predefined colors maybe there's a lot of red here maybe the green but i'll always use this one here that give me the exact color i want to change i'll cancel that also then we have uh, white balance if you took a picture maybe that uh, daytime and it's blue uh, yellowish or bluish maybe you can compare maybe you can just leave it at that then we have pg uh, maybe play around with this see what happens uh, the size that it covers i'll just cancel that can't use everything then we have color fill you want to fill it with the color you can choose the color you want to fill it maybe maybe one greenish just like that then we have uh, okay pattern fill you want patterns there are so many patterns you can choose from this section you can choose this one uh-huh so many ones you can choose i just cancel it cancel again here then we have dilate uh -huh. you can see what it does there you can increase the amount maybe i think this one works for a section maybe you want to mask a section then we have a road the yeah, road has some section maybe i think this one works if you mask a section I'll just cancel it again then we have curves curve is very good i love it let me put another picture uh, let me use another picture this time maybe i use this one here now if i come to curves here it will give me curves now I'll, I'll click here to create points you can decide some places to be darkish some regions of the pictures to be darkish some to be just uh just like that so if i do this you see the background becomes darkish but the face becomes brighter what about if i if i increase this or i do this you see you can easily change the section uh of a sec uh, of a picture using curves maybe you can increase brightness and maybe so i'll just uh, apply it i like it then we have levels levels also work the same way almost the same as curves so i can play around with this see you can play around with this just like curves some sections become dark i think i like it i'll just apply that mm -hmm just cancel it then uh, where are we channel mixer balance mm -hmm. selective color you want to increase a color here here and there you can easily do uh, that then maybe you want to remove a color maybe i want to remove this color here and replace it with uh, okay yeah, you can easily do that just cancel so you can you can even change, change black and white just cancel then uh, we have graded at opacity maybe you want graded to come from this direction just play around with this just cancel then enhance uh, document yup you can reduce increase just like that so guys that's how to use uh, remember you are using the adjustments in the editor section that's how to use it see you in the next video